Hello Zebrahurd, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Today, we are exploring the Route 7 on our way to the next gym leader, the next town. Hopefully that goes over. It looks like a really long path, so I don't know how long today's episode is going to end up being. But yeah, we're also gonna explore the right side or the east side of Hammerlock here. Of course, we got here last episode after defeating Opal, then she brought us here, and then we saw Bead as well. Now, Bead is going to be the the uh, fairy champion, I guess. But anyways, let's get to exploring. Over here we have the uh, town of Hammerlock, a city of great history living and thriving within the castle walls that date back to the Middle Ages. Ooh, okay. And what is inside of here? Oh, hi. <laughs> Would you like me to see if your Pokemon are heal feeling friendly towards you? Sure. Which Pokemon of yours would you like to, see, to find out about? Uh, sure, let's just do Don. I would imagine she would be. Uh, seems like you, you're you pretty good friend still. I bet you could become even closer. Oh, that's great. You wanna know if your Pokemon have really been giving it their best effort? Yes. So we gotta choose another Pokemon. We'll choose Jazzy this time. That Pokemon, yeah, looks like you can still give a bit more. Well, let's hope that we can get to that point. You and your Pokemon have potential to becoming great friends. If you have your Pokemon hold this item, your friendship may grow even stronger. Well, that's helpful, thank you. We get the Soothe Bell. Uh, so what is this? An item to be held by a Pokemon. The comforting chime of this bell calms the holder, making it friendly. Cool. Having a Pokemon hold the Soothe Bell and that Pokemon will grow friendlier, friendly faster than normal. Okay. Well, we already have everybody having a hold item, but that's a pretty good one. And what else is going on around here? We have these two to talk to. I wish there were a box of lunches you could eat on the train. They'd be so popular. I mean, you could always box your own lunch. Children can't get through the wild area, so we have to ride the train. It's safe. We don't need an adult to ride with us. I mean, I might still be good to have an adult go with you. And it looks like we have a couple of, oh, wait, there's an item. Dire hit, an item greatly raises the critical hit ratio of a Pokemon during battle, can only be used once, and then it wears off. Okay, very cool. So we've been getting all those different types of like X moves and dire hits now, that's pretty cool. And we have plenty of houses to go into. I raise and live with Rookity just because I love them so much. I've got nothing to do with flying taxis. Well, that's still good. So many of them, it's so cute. I want to button this one. Oh, there's a gentleman. Hello, gentleman. Why, hello there, young man. Are you interested in weather? In weather is pretty cool. Oh, is that so? Well, then let me get started. If the sunlight is harsh during battle, fire type moves become more powerful while water type moves are weakened. Yeah, we ran into that in a wild area episode. The sunlight will thaw out any frozen Pokemon and they'll be immune to being frozen while the weather lasts too. Ooh, good. Moves that use light like solar beam can be performed in one turn. Ooh, the effects of some other moves also get enhanced like those of growth and synthesis. Certain moves like thunder or hurricane become less accurate. Thanks for listening so politely. Please, take this. Well, that was a lot of stuff. Heat rock. Okay, now to be held by a Pokemon. It extends the duration of the move sunny day when used by the holder. We don't have anybody with sunny day. I've gone and tired myself out. Come back tomorrow if you're interested. So I guess we could come to him for more info on weather. I'll probably forget to do that, but maybe I won't, who knows? And let's talk to you. That old gent in the Pokemon Center is quite the jack of all trades, don't you think? He can make Pokemon forget moves or even have them remember moves they've forgotten. Yeah, yeah, we've used him a couple of times. He's very useful. And oh, look, there's a Sony over there. We all know that Dragon's Guard treasure. It's definitely fitting that Raihan is a guardian of the vault. Indeed. Hi. Hey, uh, the badge collecting going well? So far, so good. I've been doing some research on the ruins on Stone Side, the Sword and Shield. What kind of Pokemon were they? And where are they now? I still have so many questions. I was thinking about taking another look at the ta tapestries in, in where? <laughs> I mean, we've already seen one of them though in the the, the, the vault, the wield. Kaboom, what was that? Are you kidding me? What was that? That's what I'm asking. Hammerlock Stadium shook. That's where Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Huh, a power spot? What's wrong? Or you mean like where you Dynamax? What's wrong? Uh, I'm getting readings from the power spot detector. Does that mean Dynamaxing is possible here? Hey, Sony and Zebra 2, you felt that shaking, right? Seems Chairman Rose is testing something again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of the Hammerlock. 
Is that so? I can make sure the chairman knows. Uh, you'll just get lost, Leon. I'm going to. I'm really looking forward to seeing you complete in the, compete in the finals. So you should leave the investigation on the quaking to the adults. Head to Sir Chester and get that gym badge. Will do. But I wouldn't mind going and helping you for whatever this is. Oh, there's Hop. Oh, Zebra. Hi. How are you? I want to go up the stairs first. I got Hop's all waving to us. We just run the opposite direction. Just trying to get away from him. Poor guy. We found a strawberry sweet. Ooh, tasty. A giant Pokeball statue. I've heard that Pokemon in the wild area hide all sorts of things. There are apparently even odd Pokemon that call TRs. Ooh. It's a stone statue of a Pokeball. There's a rumor if you touch it, you'll have better luck catching Pokemon. Well, did I touch it? Hopefully I did. They say that the Gower region has lots of old buildings. Definitely seems like it. Can I, oh, an item. Rare candy. Can I go inside of here? I cannot. But yeah, rare candies get a level up for Pokemon at some point. Hi. Hello there, you look like something, someone I might trust. You see, there's someone I fancy and I, I've i written them a love letter. Do you think you might deliver it for me? Of course. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I found someone like you to help me. My name is Paula. Here you are, this is the letter I want you to deliver. You obtained an old letter. You put the old letter in the item's pocket, a letter entrusted to you by a girl to be delivered to a boy. Strangely, it looks old to you. Deliver it to Frank for me, won't you? Frank and Bologna, that's who you want. So I don't know when we're going back to Bologna, but hopefully we can remember to do that. In the meantime, you found a pair of wise glasses. Known to be held by Pokemon, this thick pair of glasses slightly boost the power of special moves. Hmm, interesting. So I guess there's not too much more to do up here from what I can see. So we can go back down, talk to a couple more people, finally run into Hop sooner or later. What about this guy? You really should visit Windon sometimes. People from all over the world gather there. Sure we will at some point or another. Hi, Hop. First that forest, then that mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word. But it looks like I finally caught up to you again. Come with me to Route 7. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. Oh, so we're gonna go and battle him again? Probably. All right, well, for right now, we need to talk to everybody in here. Life's all about restaurant hopping. Indeed it is. <laughs> I'm going to eat all of the restaurants along the Gower Railway until I drop. Okay, maybe that's a little extreme. Today's meal is even better than yesterday's. Can I have some? No? Okay. All sorts of people come to stations. Every day there's something happening. This job requires you to be alert. You need to dodge Padove droppings. Oh no. That doesn't sound fun, you might wear a hat. Uh, welcome to the Pokemart, may I help you? Do you have anything that I need? Uh, not really. Well, goodbye. Oh hey, the Pokemon Journal, I should pick up the latest edition. Okay, is there anything new in the vending machines? Not looking like it. And I can talk to you. I hope my friend gets here soon. I think Padova is aiming for my food. Uh-oh, better read it quick. Seems like when a Padova wants something, it gets it. I wonder if there's something special about people who find wishing stars? I mean, I have one. Once I become champion, I'm going to gather all the wishing stars in the world and give them to you. <laughs> all right, well, that's sweet of him to say. Some young romance. The curry I made while camping was so amazing, but the curry I made at home was only so-so. I wonder what was different. I mean, maybe the atmosphere. I feel like well, you have to be in the mood to cook a certain food sometimes. I do my job every day while imagining how strong each passenger on the train must be. You mean like physically, like how much weight they can lift or how strong they are in a paddle? I don't know. I go to a hair salon every day in order to maintain my hairstyle. Okay, I mean, if that's what you want. Trainers who become champion are just too strong. Well, hopefully we can get that strong. I feel like challengers should be given some handicap like having a 10 Pokemon team. I don't know if that's exactly necessary. <laughs> Even though I would love a 10 Pokemon team. Uh, but okay, we can buy from you. You sell TMs, you have Psychic Train, Electric Train. Interesting. Misty Train, Grass Train, Weather Ball. Anything I really want here though? Fire Fang. I don't think so. They're very expensive. And yeah, we're good to keep going. 
So that's about all there is here. So I guess we're good to leave uh, Hammerlock. I always want to call it like Hammer Town because I forget what it's called. Route seven. Let's see how things go here then. But yeah, over this way, that's Spike Myth. And then this is where we gotta go search Hester. So at some point it should allow us to go up instead of to the right, but I don't see that option just yet. All right, well, we'll just keep running until we get to where we need to be. Oh, hi Hop, there you are. All right, Zebra. You and I both know I've got to keep on trying different strategies if I'm gonna get strong enough to catch up to Lee. No, not just catch up if I want to surpass him. So I think you know what's coming, mate. Let me try out my latest in the battle against you. All right, let's go at it. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. So he has five Pokemon and he's sending out Trevenant. Have we seen you have Trevenant? It's a really cool Pokemon, I love it. We have uh, Smokey here. All right, time for, for me to test exactly how far I can go with my latest and greatest team. So I don't know, yeah, we probably wanna switch. I mean, it's a, it's a grass type, right? So our best bet is Dot. So we'll just switch out and get Dot out here as soon as possible. Let's see if you do an attack. How, how, how is our level compared to you? Confuse Ray, uh-oh. Gonna make Dot confused. Oh, not good. Might end up hurting ourselves. So we have a good, oh my gosh, like eight levels on you? That's crazy. Oh no, oh no. Oh. So there we go, we just hurt ourselves in confusion. I'm sorry, Dot. Shadow Claw. That's a bit of a problem. Can we do flame charge this time? Come on, Dot! No! Oh, this is bad. We might have to do something about this. I really don't know. Come on, just go for it one more time. Third time's a charm. There we go, sound out of the confusion. Did flame charge, and that is a one hit takedown. Good job, Dot. The way you battle, you know, it kind of reminds me of Lee. Oh, thank you. So our speed rose for that, Trevenant fainted. And that shouldn't be the only grass type you have, because you should have Grookey, right? Or whatever Grookey evolves into, I forget. Snorlax. You have a Snorlax, right. Okay, um, what's gonna be good against it? I mean, uh, it should be normal, right? I really don't know. I mean, I know the fighting is good against normal, so maybe we should do that. Hops in out Snorlax. And here you are. So we might just wanna heal ourselves, or do we just wanna go for it? I don't know. Okay, let's heal, let's heal. Um, which one's gonna do better? We should just do a super potion, I think. As long as we can just sort of survive for a bit more to use some fighting moves and get rid of the Snorlax real quick. I don't know how much this will do, but I think that'll be fine. Oh gosh, body slam. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But I think we should use one more potion just to get ourselves, well actually, yeah, you know what, never mind. Super kick, double kick, whatever it's called. Uh, that was okay. Okay, so you are halfway down and you're gonna use body slam again. Will this take us out? Not quite, so if we do double kick, but no, we're paralyzed! Oh, this is bad. Just go for another double kick and hope it works out. Come on! Oh no. Oh no. Come on! <laughs> uh, I played it too risky. And there goes, there goes Dot, right? Ugh, dot fainted. I mean, I should have expected that, but should have played it safer, but oh well. So we will swap out to somebody else. Um, hmm. It's weird, it'll tell you if it's effective or not while you're like switching Pokemon here, but when you can switch when they're switching at the same time, it doesn't tell you that. It's just weird how selective it is in that way. But anyways, we should be able to finish you off real quick with any of these moves, we'll just do Steel Wing. But they're using Hyper Potion, no! Oh, great. At least it wasn't all the way full. We'll do Steel Wing, it makes you a bit lower. And, hmm. I think we'll just do Steel Wing again. Just a little bit more. They use stockpile, are they gonna heal from that? Stockpiled one. Snorlax defense rose and their special defense. One more time should be good. I hope. That's what I'm talking about. Their Snorlax is down. Okay. No experience for Dot, unfortunately. But Hop is about to send out Heatmore. 
Well, I'm guessing that is going to be a fire type of some sort. So let's get Dada and Adatam out here. And we'll fight fire with water, not fire with fire. All right, Tom, you ready for this? Oh, you're like an ant eater. Oh, I love it. Okay, but before we do anything, I'm considering maybe we should just revive Dot because if we have the advantage here, we should be able to tank this out. I mean, Tom has a lot of health. He's a much higher level than this ant eater. Heat more. Yeah, so we're fine. Now that we've done that, we can attack. We'll do Whirlpool for right now, so it's doing that turn by turn damage. But they avoided the attack, oh darn. Now they're doing Bug Bite. Are they Bug type? No way, I think they just have a bug move. Anyways, we'll do Water Gun. Well, at least that land. It doesn't take out most of your health. It did like a, a third. A little more than a third, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's do Whirlpool this time. Excellent, so now that'll be doing its thing while we're attacking with other things. Bug Bite again. Really isn't that big of a deal. But you're still getting hurt by that Whirlpool. That's exactly what we want. So now we can use Water Gun. And there it goes. So Heat more is down for the count. And that means almost level 43 for Biggie. We're really getting up there. Rillaboom. Now is that the evolution, the third evolution of Grookey? It might just be. Okay, so let's get Jazzy out here now. I don't know if that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> um, hmm. Because, I mean, at the least, it's, I don't think lightning is good against grass, but it's not bad against it. Wow, you look cool. Look at you and your big drum. Even though your name like doesn't really mix too well, it was like, it was Grookey, then it was something else. But Rillaboom like, doesn't, I mean, I guess it's supposed to be Gorilla. Okay. That makes sense. I like how you're so instrument focused though, it's really cool. Anyways, we got Dot out here now, even if she has a uh, health disadvantage, have a taste of our true power. Our green power just keeps on growing stronger. Hopefully this still means that we can make things work, or maybe this will knock us out in one hit. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, no, it's fine, not very effective. So we're gonna have to hit you with everything we have here. Our speed just fell, but let's just do Pyro Ball. It's a really strong move. May knock him out in one hit. If it does, we will be in a good opportunity. Boom, thank you very much. Okay, well there's that done. And we get ourselves a level up for Dot, Biggie, and Tom. Got the whole slew of level up. So only one person to get to level 40 now, and that's Smokey. Very cool. Bolton. So that's uh, what we have, Jazzy. Uh, okay, let's use Tom then. He has a lot of, he has some similar Pokemon to us, doesn't he? Does he also have the Corviknight? Or was that somebody else? It might have been somebody else. I'm the kind of guy who gets fired up to win in these situations. I'm pretty sure this is your last Pokemon. So it's us versus you. The problem with Tom is that we're also partially weak to you, but we're also, it should be normal, because we're water ground, which ground is, you know, defensive. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Even though it wasn't like super effective, they're going to use Roar. So if we can just hit that again, whoa, no, we're gone. <laughs> I was gonna say we'll be fine. Well, we got Smokey out here now. So what do we want to do with you? I think we'll do the normal Toxic Venom Shock combo. There we go. And now you're poisoned. What are you going to do about that, huh? Probably use Roar again. Okay, well that throws off my strategy. How are you going to do anything if you don't do anything? <laughs> okay, now you got an awkward situation. Well, the poison's going to keep doing stuff to you. Do we have any non-electric type moves? We have Crunch. Let's crunch him. Ooh, hoo -hoo, not bad, finish him off. Okay, you're finished, Top, I think. And a level up for Smokey and Shawnee, so now everybody is officially over level 40, and Shawnee wants to learn to move Swagger. And this is a normal type. The user enrages and confuses the target, however, this also sharply raises the target's attack stat. I don't think we need it. Okay, defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. This is rubbish, my team can't perform if I can't get my own head straight as a trainer. That's that's for sure, but you'll get there, don't worry, we all have those bad times, we all fall into ruts. 
Before we ever started on this journey, I remember watching Lee on the telly. He was like a bright star, so strong I could hardly bear to look right at him. But now, I can just tell how strong he really is, and when he's got that, I haven't. But I'm getting stronger too. Maybe not as fast as you, but fine, whatever. Thanks for letting me battle with you again. And here, I'll heal up your team for you too. Oh, thank you, because I was gonna have to go back and do that myself. Awesome, so we defeated Hop once more. I think I know what it is I really want. I want to battle Lee. I want to take on my own bro. But not just that, I want to beat him. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion, and I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going to have another battle once I get my gym badge in Sir Chester. All right, well, I'm looking forward to it, as always. But in the meantime, we need to move forward with our adventure on Route 7, right here. Oh, I already see some new Pokemon popping up. That's cool. Okay, so we already see some trainers. We got an ether over this way. And as a model, I'll show off the appeal of my partner Pokemon. Well, I can't wait to see him. We're going against Model Mila. Okay, I like her fancy pose. She's sending out Rebombi. Oh, it's so cute, it's a tiny little bug. All right, Smokey, do what you can. Oh, sorry, I'm hiccuping. So, not as much of a level advantage as we had with some of the other Pokemon, but that's okay, we'll do what we can here. Yeah, we'll just do Toxic for now and see how this goes. Pollen buff, uh, ooh, that hurt. But that wasn't super effective or anything. It was just a normal attack. Okay. So let's see. You got badly poisoned. You'll get hurt a little bit by your poison, but we'll have to see how the Venoshock performs is the most important thing. Don't run. Don't think we could run anyways. So there's Stun Spore. Oh, that's gonna paralyze us. Let's hope it doesn't stop us from doing this move though. Venoshock, come on. Yeah, look at that, that was super effective. Very cool, so you must be, I think, fairy type? Yeah, you would be fairy type, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, and level 44 for Jazzy, looking good. Awesome, getting lots of level ups today. We're just sitting on Vespa Queen. I don't know what Vespa Queen is, but uh, we'll do Dot. <laughs> when in doubt, just do our strongest Pokemon, right? I, mean, I think Dot's our strongest. She has the strongest moves. Being a starter, you sort of get that little extra boost to your moves sometimes, like with the Pyro Ball. I'm pretty sure something just Dot could get. Oh, it's you again, the creepy Bee Queen. Okay, uh, we'll do, oh, this is super effective, so we made a good choice. Um, well, I don't know if we need to do too much more than Flame Charge. We have a good level lead on you. And look at that, one hit takedown, super effective, critical hit, and I think that might have been your last Pokemon. If so, we just won. Very cool, good start to Route 7. And look at that, we got it done. All right, we defeated Mila. What a great trainer you are. You really showed off the appeal of your partner Pokemon. So $4,000 for winning. We're winning the big bucks at this point. Hi, I wanna become someone everyone wants to be like, just like the champion. I'm sure you can get there. Whoa, she went right for us. Do we have you, the lie part? I think we do. I love this Pokemon so much. Okay, well, level 37, we do have you. Should I even bother then? Mm. Oh, we're still paralyzed. That's not good. I think we're just gonna run. Yep. Wait, wait, we couldn't get away. They're gonna sucker punch us. Wait, or did they? I don't know, that was weird. Um, they, they, it said it was gonna do something, but they didn't. Okay, so before we do anything, I mean, how are things going? Yeah, we're supposed to go up right now. Yeah, Smokey's paralyzed, but everybody else is fine, so maybe we should just swap out for now. We'll get Biggie out in front. That sounds good to me. He's a pretty strong Pokemon. So what is to the right? Are we even, actually, is there an item here? Yes, there is. Bomb Mushroom, very cool. Oh, that's new. That is definitely new. Oh, it's sort of creepy. It is a Galvantula, it's like a spider. Oh no. And we'll see how this goes. We'll have a five level lead on you, I think it was. Exerting pressure, very good. Electro ball, whoa, wait a minute. Are you an electric bug type? Oh, this is bad. I mean, I don't know how this will work. Was Shoney feeling sleepy there? Was that, is that what that said? Electro ball, again. Yikes, because we switched Pokemon out. Oh my gosh. Not good. Well, let's just you pluck for now. I mean, that still does some really good damage. So maybe we should just go for it. Um, We should have a ball that's good for bug types, right? 
Or we can just use the Ultra Ball. You know what, that might be just better. Um, okay. Come on, get this guy. Yes! All right, Galvantula was caught. And as you can see, lots of bonus experience. And we got Galvantula, our first Pokemon captured today. It is an L Spider Pokemon Bug Electric. It lays traps of electrified threads near the nest of bird Pokemon, aiming to snare chicks that are not yet good at flying. Oh, that's awful. I don't like it. I also don't like the idea of a 30 pound spider. That just makes me uncomfortable. No nickname for you. It's gonna put you away in the box and not think of you for a little bit because they're just creepy spiders. Ugh. So what is to the right? Team Yell is to the right. You can't just silence Team Yell. She's cute, she's tough, she won't take no one's guff. <laughs> our Marnie, she's our Marnie. All right, well they're on a Mar Marnie tirade, so we're not gonna deal with them for right now. We're instead going to battle you, sir. <laughs> I'm just standing right in his face. Being a taxi driver means I've got to be ready anytime, anywhere. Pokemon battles are the same, anytime, anywhere. Okay, so we're going against Cabby Bruce. Yeah, he's one of the taxi drivers for the Corviknights. Sending out Corvusquire, so we had one of these at some point, but now we have a Corviknight. So, for this, I think we might have to end up switching to Jazzy at some point, but for right now we could try, uh, yeah, let's just try this one, Night Slash. It's fine, it's fine, we can do that again, it will knock you out. You're doing Hone Claw, so yeah, we'll be able to knock you out before you're even able to do anything. Very nice. Yeah, with Night Slash. Night Slash should be plenty fine for this. And down you go. All right, see ya, buddy. Gained experience points. Rufflet. Now, what is Rufflet? I think that might be like a bird or something. I don't know. We're doing fine with, yeah, it is a bird. Oh, it's so cute. We're doing fine with Biggie, though. So, let's go ahead and do Night Slash. They're doing Hone Calls. He really likes that move. Well, I don't know what this will tell you. It's not really doing much for you. Okay, go for it. Awesome. So as you can see, we're able to beat up some Pokemon, get some experience, and defeat Bruce. No matter where I go in my taxi, loss and loneliness will follow. That's very doom and gloom. One of the troubling things about being a driver is that sometimes Corviknight will take off and forget the customer. <laughs> he just got so sad. Oh, it's one of you. The Berserker, so you're like the evolution of the Galarian Meowth. Have we gotten you before? No, okay. Let's go ahead and try to get you then. We'll use Night Slash. Would that be, well you're Steel type. Is Dark good against Steel? I don't know. It, it was okay. Honestly, that might be a good thing though. We can just sort of whittle down your health a little bit. What did that do? I think our defense harshly fell, okay. Just do Night Slash again. Oh, that's pretty good, a critical hit. Good job, Biggie. They're going to use Swagger. That ups our attack, but probably confuses, okay. That doesn't matter too much, we're about to start using Pokeballs. Hopefully another Ultra Ball, or what else do, can we use? A Great Ball should be fine. I don't wanna waste the Ultra Balls, because I don't have too many of them. Who knows what other Pokemon we fi might find along the way today. And, oh, come on, it was close too. What are they gonna do this time? They're gonna use Swagger again. If you raise our attack too much, we won't be able to hit you again without taking you out. So let's just throw out another Great Ball. Oh, come on. Not good. Now they're using Taunt. They really just wanna make us upset right now. They fell for the taunt. What does that even mean? I don't really know. But you know what? What else do we have? We're just gonna use another Ultra Ball. After wasting two Great Balls, should've just done this from the beginning. Come on. Great, there it is. Gotcha, Berserker was caught. And level 44 for Biggie. And more importantly, we also caught a brand new Pokemon Berserker. 
which is so much different than Persian. When you think about it, it's just totally different. This is a Viking Pokemon Steel type. After many battles, it evolved to dangerous claws that come together to form daggers when extended. Interesting. Because isn't there like an Alolan Persian as well? It's weird that you just turned into something totally different though. All right, well, Berserker goes into our box for right now. Really glad to have that. And there's also um, another uh, Biggie type Pokemon. Okay, well, no, we're being chased. Oh, come on. <laughs> Not good. Another live part. If I could just run from this, I wanted to get the Pokeball. But we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, none of this is very effective because it's dark versus dark, right? Can we just please get out of here? We couldn't get away. Why is it always like this? You're gonna use Torment. You really are tormenting me right now. I do not appreciate it. Okay, run. We got away safely, excellent. Now go ahead and, oh no, wait, what, what is this? It is a Corviknight. We already have one. Don't need you. There's a lot of familiar Pokemon around here, that's for sure. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, we could try just taking you out, get the extra experience. Doesn't do much though. Ow, ooh, that hurt. I don't know if this is worth it. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. Okay, pick this up real quick. Three Quick Balls, a somewhat different Pokeball that has a more successful catch rate if used at the start of a wild encounter. That sounds amazing. But okay, we got another Preserker. I don't wanna deal with you. So, maybe we could just run? Yeah, let's run. Okay, so what's over this way? Another one of the spiders, oh, the berry tree. Not you again, why do you keep doing this to me? I'm so far from the grass and you just run out and get me. That's not how this is supposed to work. You drive me nuts right now. None of this is very effective again, just run, just run. Oh, we actually got away safely in the first try this time. Thank you. And we're just gonna run. I don't even care about the berry tree right now. I just wanna get out of here. So now we're on Route 8 already. Wow, okay. Route 8. And it looks like the exit to the uh, town is just over there, so maybe this won't be too long. But at the same time, look at how big this place is. Maybe it will take a while. Okay, well. That looked like a rock type Pokemon, so I might wanna switch to somebody else, but. I'm actually, maybe not. Maybe Dark would be fine against it. Bulldor. Okay, Biggie. Just take out his health a little bit. We're thinking about camping. I guess we'll have to go camping soon. If everybody's thinking about camping, might be worth our while. And we did some damage there. Bulldor's weak armor, lowering a little bit. And I used Headbutt. How much will this hurt? Ouch, a decent chunk, a real decent chunk. Maybe I should just try to use one of those quick balls. Uh, we definitely wanna switch Pokemon. I mean, Tom would be the best bet, I would imagine, being water. But is rock good against ground? I can't remember. It's always such a mess for me to remember. I used Headbutt again. Yeah, that doesn't do much, excellent. Okay, so as long as we can try to get rid of your health without totally destroying you, I don't know if this will one hit take down you or not. It won't, excellent, okay. So this is our chance, they're gonna use Rock Slide, which, ooh, does some good damage. But it wasn't super effective, it was just normal. So what are our options here? I guess we'll just use a Pokeball. I don't wanna use all of my other balls if I still have this. I just don't wanna waste it. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Ah, oh, darn, maybe this is not worth it anymore. Maybe these are just too weak. He's beating us up a lot here with this. Stop throwing rocks at me. Hit three times. So we'll try again. Just another Pokeball. Come on. You can do it. Oh my gosh, almost had it. Boldor, you're too much, man, you're too much. Oh, and we're really low enough. We might just have to use a better ball. We'll use a great ball. Come on. Please let this work. Oh, dude. 
What are you doing? Why do you just not want to be caught? Now you have iron defense going on. At least that gives us another chance for Tom's not getting damaged at the least. But I don't know what's going on here. Just throw another one. He's got to get weaker sooner or later. Come on. He, he's It's getting more difficult. Rock Blast, again. Can you please stop with that? There goes Tom. What a waste. Are we really, after all that, going to have to use an Ultra Ball? That'd be the worst. Uh, I don't even know how to switch to, I guess, Dodd? This probably isn't a good idea, but if I can just catch you this next turn, everything will be fine. Yeah, you know what? We'll use, ooh, Heavy Ball? I don't know. Quick Balls, Pokeballs, Timer Balls, ooh. Okay, yeah, let's try this. The longer the battle has gone on, the higher of a chance this will work. Because this guy's proven to be real difficult. Please don't waste this. Thank you, okay, gotcha, Bulldore was caught. I like that one, hopefully we can buy more of that soon, and we get more experience for everybody except for Tom, I'm sorry. But as you can see, Bulldore's data will be added to the Pokedex. It's a rock type or Pokemon. It relies on sound in order to monitor what's in its vicinity. When angered, it will attack w without ever changing the direction it's facing. That doesn't sound very productive, but no nickname for you. I'm gonna send you to a box. And we got an Everstone. I guess we'll just place it in our back. Our bag, not our back. Um, so that was cool, but I definitely need to heal my Pokemon now. So first off, a revive for Tom. Yep, right here. Oh, there you are. And should we heal people up? Probably. So here's a super potion. And some for Shawnee. Maybe another one for Shawnee. Uh, maybe we'll just do, yeah, Tom for now. And then use normal potions wherever we can. So I still have a couple of these. It'd be a shame not to use them. And one more. Okay, so now we're all healed up, at least a good chunk more. More Pokemon are running around. Have I caught you? I don't think I have. You are Ponyard. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I have not caught you. I think I've ran into you, but I failed. Yep, I have not caught you. So I think Biggie wants to do something. He said something about smell. I don't know, I think they all just wanna go camping right now. So I think you're like a bug type, right? Or like a dark bug or something? We'll have to see. So let's see how this does. Because fire is good against, I, I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you're steel? I just, I, I, I don't know what he is. <laughs> let's fight. Oh, this is all super effective. What's the weaker move? Flame charge is the weaker move, but I'm worried I'm still gonna one hit you. Let's find out. Oh man, come on. So I guess I'm not catching Ponyard this time. That's sort of the tough thing about our Pokemon being too powerful is sometimes we miss out on catching the Pokemon. But I guess we could use that timer ball soon. Anyways, we gotta level up for Dot there, and now we have that guy over there, which I think we've yet to call. I don't know which way is the right way to go. Ooh! You are an evolution of the guy that holds the, what is it, like a brick or something? He holds something. But now he's holding even bigger things. He's holding a big girder. So what are you, a fighting type? I can't remember. We'll use Night Slash and see how that goes. Oh, not much. Not very effective at all. He's using Dynamic Punch Boy, you avoided it. Good job, Biggie. It might be time to change Pokemon then. Hmm. We'll go with Shawnee for now, because flying is good against fighting. And you know, we have some a flying move that isn't crazy powerful, so hopefully it'll get him low enough that we can just capture him. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't do much at all. You're in trouble, buddy. Worried about being able to battle well. Yeah, everybody's not doing so hot today. I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay, for right now, just use Pluck. Okay, perfect, not a one hit takedown. He's using Scary Face, well look as scary as you want, buddy. You can do that while within one of our Pokeballs. So which one do we wanna use this time? 
So many options. I think we'll just use a Great Ball. At this point, it might just not be worth using normal Pokeballs anymore. Nope. I thought that was gonna work. Now he's using Rock Slide. Oh, that's actually a problem. Rock is good against Flying. But I think the Steel type even that's out, evens that out because she's Flying Steel. So we're just gonna try another one now. Come on, come on. Yes, okay, we got Girder. Yeah, he, he actually, he is Girder. He's Girder carrying a Girder. Yeah, we got level 41 for Smokey. And we get to see Girder added to the Pokedex. Very nice. He is a fighting muscular Pokemon. Girder excels at demolition. Construction is not its forte. In any case, there's skill in the way Pokemon wields its metal beam. Number 172. Cool. No nickname for you, but I'm glad that we were able to catch you and have you a part of our Pokemon journey. So I don't know which way is the right way to go, but I think we're just gonna set up camp right now. Try to make everybody feel a little bit better. So hey guys, how are you? Yeah, good. I'm glad, come over here. I got some toys for you. Hi there, Shawnee. Would you like to play with this, huh? I, oh, I don't like how they attack me like that. I can never tell if that means they're upset or not. I think that's just how they play. Anyways, go and catch a ball, Shawnee. And do I have to play with like every single one of them for them not to feel bad? I don't really know. But I guess I need to camp more often. Hi, Tom. Shawnee brought back the ball, good job. Okay, Biggie, go ahead and get it. You got it, boy. And while that's happening, maybe we could bring out the other toy? Well, let me call more people over if I can. Okay, good job, Biggie. Anybody else wanna play? Okay, well, we'll take this back. Everybody else is running around. Hey, guys, I got the toy for you. Come here. I guess they just won't, oh, are, are they coming now? I don't know what she's doing. Dot is running everywhere. So is Smokey, that's, that's cute. Come on, guys, come over here. Oh, well, I think we, I don't know what's going on. Let's get Biggie's ball, and maybe cooking would make them feel happier. Because right now they seem a bit too distracted to actually play with me. So we use bread, one of the many ingredients that can be used, that you use for cooking at your camp. Sure. We'll do some person berries, chesto berries, qualot, and some citrus, wow, we just filled the whole thing. Yeah, that sounds good. So let's see how this goes. Throw in the bread as well for extra breadiness. And we're gonna fan those flames. Be ready to be impressed as we fan them as fast as possible. This is really fast. Oh, it looks like we got Smokey's attention. He's like, ooh, I love food. Okay, well, not doing the best job at this. I'm trying now. Doing the motion controls. Oh, now I get the stir. Let's stir it super quick, it might splatter everywhere. Be careful, everybody. Very hot under all this fire. And we'll give it a, as good of a stirring as we possibly can. I think we're almost there. There it is, and just throw our heart in at the right time. There we go. So I wonder how this one's gonna go. Done. Everybody come on over. Hopefully this nice curry will raise everybody's spirits. We get dry toast curry, looking pretty fancy. Oh, we got Biggie here, he's like, oh. Mmm, very good. Okay, well I'm glad we enjoy it. It is a dry toast curry milstery class with, of course, everybody being a little bit happy with that. Okay, so hopefully with that we can quit camping. And Get some bonus experience. Some people got more than others, I guess depending on who we played with. But level up for Shawnee and Tom. Oh, are you new? Yeah, you're the you're a moon thing. You're from an earlier Pokemon game, Lunatone. Okay, you're sort of creepy with your weird beak. I don't like that very much. But we don't have you. We'll try using Night Slash and see how much damage that does. Whoa, a lot. Almost a one hit takedown. Thank goodness it wasn't. We're gonna use Psychic, but it doesn't affect us because we're Dark type. Dark is good against Psychic. Let's just throw out the Great Ball and see if that will do enough. I can only hope. Come on, come on. Yes! All right, so Lunatone caught very, very easily. 
Okay, so level 45 for Biggie. And as you can see, Lunatone was added to our Pokedex. It was discovered at the site of a meteor strike 40 years ago. Its stare can lull its foes to sleep. It's worded as if there's only one of them. It was a rock psychic type. Very, very interesting. So it's like a piece of the moon or something. Anyways, there's that done, Lunatone caught. I don't know which way to go. There's a trainer down that way. I ran into another Pawn Yard though. We're, we're spending a lot of time in this little area. Pawn Yard, I'm getting you this time. So, none of this is very effective. So what will be effective? Well, let's at least use Jazzy, which is just normally affected. Effective. That way maybe we can paralyze you and just get you low on health enough to catch you finally. Assurance. Oh, it's not a sure my victory. Thinking about camping, we just won camping, Jazzy. What are you talking about? Oh, really low. So let's just try to catch you from here. We we'll use a great ball. Come on, get the pawn yard, please. Please don't hop out. Yeah, okay, so Pawn Yard was finally caught after a couple of attempts. Okay, so we get an experience for that. Awesome stuff, Jazzy's level 45. And let's see what's going on in the Pokedex for Pawn Yard. A pack of these Pokemon forms to severe a bi serve a Bi-Sharp boss or its Pawn Yard trains diligently, dreaming of one day taking the lead. That's interesting, there are dark steels, so not even bug. I thought they were like little bugs, but I guess not. They're like ninjas. <laughs> That's pretty cool. No nickname for Pawn Yard. Instead, we are going to continue our adventure. Maybe, hopefully. <clears throat> so you, I'm gonna avoid you for right now, but I gotta get you at some point. I just wanna see what's up here. Oh, it's just a trainer tips. Trainer tips. Checking out glowing Pokemon dens in the wild area will help you store up lots. If you climbed all the way up here, you're likely the sort to investigate every nook and cranny. So keep that curiosity alive to search out every last stun as you run around the wild area too. I'll try my best. Speaking of which, on the other side of that, which we can't quite access, there was a Pokeball. Okay, maybe, have I caught Golem? I don't, I don't remember, maybe I did. Rhyhorn. Now do we have you? I think? I think we have you. Yep, we do. So can we leave? Yep, there we go. I do not want to deal with the Pokemon I already have. Okay, let's just go for you, see if we have you, because we tried to catch you in the past and you would immediately use a curse on yourself that would knock yourself out so that you couldn't be caught, which was not very useful for us, so was it? Uh, let's try to use, hmm. Yeah, I'll use one of the quick balls. That sounds like it'd be cool. So let's see, this is the very first turn. Can we get you? Yes, oh, I love these. You don't even have the battle. Gotcha, Golit was caught. Now you can't even do that move on yourself. So that's awesome. I, I need like a thousand of these. I'm gonna have to really use them in tight situations since we only have a couple. This Pokemon was created from clay. It received orders from its master to many thousands of years ago, and it still follows those orders to this day. So once again, it's worded as if there's only one Golit. Ever. <laughs> but I don't know if that's the case or not. I mean, canonically it might be. Obviously, in the game, you're, you can find more than one goal that we already have. Anyways. Down this way, we have you to battle. Might as well get to it. I shall now closely examine the health of your Pokemon. All right, so we're going against a doctor. Dr. Joanna. <laughs> I don't know why she's doing that in the middle of this like ruined desert area, but you are. Let's battle you have Rosalia. Oh yeah, I like this one, very fancy. Um, all this is effective, because we found you in the wild area once, so that's why we already know. We'll just do Sucker Punch for right now. But it failed, oh, that stinks. They're gonna need Leech Seed. How well will that do against us? I mean, you're already at full health, so it really shouldn't do much to you. Now I did a little bit to us. Let's try again. Maybe just Night Slash this time. Oh, a critical hit. Good job, Biggie. Okay, and as you can see, we get ourselves some decent experience. And you're about to send out Hatrim. Have we seen Hatrim? We'll just keep Biggie for now. 
Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, didn't Bead have you? I think Bead had you. Anyways, um, we'll just do Night Slash. Was that super effective or just effective? I think it was just effective. No, no, that was super effective. Wow, we. So you must be psychic then, right? Dark is good against psychic. It's not good against fairy, is it? No. Dr. Joan has been defeated though. When Pokemon aren't healthy, it drags our mood down too. Of course. Nobody wants to be unhealthy. When people are healthy, they tend not to realize how valuable the health is. That's why it's always good to sort of, you know, stop and smell the roses. Like your one Pokemon. Oh, that's another one of the golets. So is this the way I'm supposed to go then, or is this the way I'm not supposed to go? It's always so hard to tell. Uh, this looks like the way I'm supposed to go. So I'll have to go back to go to that other area to make sure I didn't miss anything there. But I know for a fact that up here there should be a hidden little yellow Pokeball, and indeed there is TM96 Smart Strike. Hmm. The user stabs the target with a sharp horn. This attack never misses. That seems pretty cool. But there seems to be a while to go left. I'm a little concerned with that. See, so yeah, first off, let's go back this way. This is the way we just came from. Because, like I said, there might have been something I missed out on. Okay, I'm gonna dodge you. Oh, there's an item there. Don't chase me. Actually, we haven't fought you, have we? Oh, you're so cute. You got a little heart. <laughs> you're like a little baby. A little baby, like, buzzard or whatever. Volaby, vulture. <laughs> okay, let's try this out. Use Night Slash real quick. Maybe we should've used one of the Quick Balls. Oh, that does nothing. That does nothing. They're gonna use Iron Defense. Okay, uh, I don't know what we wanna do about this. Let's just switch for now. Yeah, it, it might be like a flying dark type or something, because dark isn't very good against dark, right? They're gonna use Iron Defense again. We just gotta hope that we're able to maybe nuzzle you down or hit you with something that'll get you pretty low. Hmm. I don't think I want this, but I mean, I guess we could try it. It'll lower their special defense. And then we can go for one heck of a nuzzle if we wanted to. So they tried Whirlwind, but it failed. Well, let's just do Spark. Let's see if that's enough, because we're only a two level advantage on you. Oh yeah, that was great. Okay, super effective. They're gonna use Iron Defense again, but we're not gonna worry about that too much. I think at this point, we'll be good to throw out a Pokeball. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, whoops. <laughs> uh, well, see you, Volby. At least we're gonna get experience from this, but that is not what I meant to do. Oh man, so I'll have to run into you again and try to get you. Okay, so first, is there anything? Yeah, down, well, item, yeah. 3x defenses, and then down this way. Oh, what is that gonna be? Yeah, it's another Rhyhorn. I don't I don't need you right now. All right, Biggie, let's get out of here. All right, and we got away safely. So, there is a Pokeball waiting for us. It is a shiny stone, a peculiar, peculiar stone that makes certain species of Pokemon evolve. It shines with a dazzling light. I don't know what typing that's for. Another one of these rocks I don't want to deal with. So now we only have one way to go definitively that we have not gone yet. So that's good. As you can see, it's this way. Oh, oh. It's another pawn yard. Running into a couple repeats now. So it looks like we found the more rare things you can find around here. So that's at least good to know. So let's skedaddle. You got away safely. And what about this? You found three hyper potions. What what are you doing? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, let's let's see what this is. Oh wow, it's bronze bronzong. Yeah, we saw one of you in a town before, didn't we? I think, yeah. Anyways, what do we got here? Uh, We could, if it's steel, we should do this. Mm-hmm. So let's get Biggie out of here, switch to Dot. Extra sensory. Oh. That was a little weird, but we should be fine. So we're just gonna try to do our weakest, I mean, I guess the fighting move would be pretty weak, right? 
Oh wow, that did nothing. So we can't really do that. So are they like steel ground or steel rock or something? Or steel psychic? I don't remember what's you know normal against fighting. Oh gosh, that might have been too much. No, it was fine, it was fine. Super effective. They're gonna use extra sensory again. So let's definitely use a normal Pokeball for now. They're so low on health, you would think this would just work fine. I don't know. Nope, they just pop out like it's nothing. I don't, it might just be too late for Pokeballs, which totally stinks if that's the case. Because I have some, I would like to use them. Anyways, let's use a Great Ball the next step up. We're definitely buying a lot of Great and Ultra Balls the next time we're at the shop, if they're not too expensive. And, oh come on, you stinker. Now he's doing iron defense, at least he's not attacking us too much. Because how is Dot doing on health? Eh, she's still in the green. Another great ball. Let's hope this one truly is great. Got it, okay, Bronzong was caught. So that has some extra experience right there. And let's see Bronzong in the Pokedex. Many scientists suspect that this Pokemon originated outside the Gale region based on the patterns on its body. It is a Steel Psychic, I was right. Bronze Bell Pokemon, 400 pounds, it's a heavy guy. Okay. So yeah, let's send you to a box, I don't want you in my party. That was a mistake. Oh, oh, you. You know what? Let's go for you. Vullaby, we're getting you this time. Now I know your weakness. I can take advantage of it. But hopefully, I don't I don't know, do we wanna throw a quick ball? Do we wanna switch over and lower your health? I guess we could do this with Jazzy. We could just nuzzle you down. And that should work just fine. If we don't have to use the quick ball, if we have a reasonable strategy, we should use it. I didn't mean to click that again. I'm so, so sloppy. Luckily, it worked fine. They're doing knockoff, that was weird. Okay, yeah, just do a nuzzle. Be very light with this, it'll lower the health and it'll also paralyze them, making it an even more likely situation that we'll be able to catch them. Okay, they're doing iron defense, which is fine because we don't plan on attacking them anymore. I don't think iron defense would higher their chances of not getting caught, but you never know. Just a normal Pokeball this time. Will that be enough to catch little Vullaby? Little Vullaby in her little diaper. Yes, it will! Gotcha, Vullaby was caught. Glad to see it. And that'll be level 46 for Biggie. We're really climbing up there. He wants to learn foul play. That's a dark type move. The user turns the target power against it. The higher the target's attack stat, the greater the damage it deals. That sounds really good. And I don't think we really need like Thief anymore because we're not really stealing items from people anyways. It has a low power compared to some of our other moves. So you know what? We're gonna get rid of Thief. We're gonna put Foul Play on top of it. So forgot Thief and learn Foul Play instead. Very cool. So let's learn a little bit more about Volleybee as we add her to our Pokedex. Um, it is a diapered Pokemon, Dark Flying. Volby grow quickly. Bones that have gotten too small for her older Volby to where often get passed on the younger ones in the nest. Oh, so that's like a skull. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, they, they have like the little feet through the, the eyes. That's sort of creepy. It's like upside down. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's so cute beyond that. All right, send it to a box so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And let's go up this ladder, finally. And then we just run across and go down this ladder. I see some Pokemon we've already caught that we'll just try to avoid for now if I can. Please and thank you. I don't know if I should go for that exclamation point. Okay, so I don't think I missed, wait, was that an item? I, oh, I did, okay, it might have been an item. Well, let's get this Pokeball. Three Luxury Balls, a particularly comfortable Pokeball that makes wild Pokemon quickly grow friendlier after being caught. That's pretty cool. Ooh, what are you? Wild Phalanx, you're like a whole centipede. You're like multiple Pokemon in one. So I'm guessing you're like a bug type. 
So what switch Pokemon then? Uh, well, I don't know if either of these are gonna be very good against you, but it should survive just fine. All right, Dot, take him out. I like that little like first impression, yikes. Pretty harsh first impression, even though it's not very effective. So I don't know what type of move that was. Let's just do Fire Pledge for now. His fire's good against Bug, right? I don't know, but that did some good damage, I guess. No retreat, that was really cool. I love this guy so far. He's just like a little army. He's like, one, two, three, four, march. So all of their stats are rising like crazy and no longer can escape. Well, let's see if you can escape from a Ultra Ball. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but we're trying it. Come on, come on. Gotcha. Very weird Pokemon. That's why I'm glad we got one. Okay, so, ooh, lots of experience for it, and more importantly, let's read about it in the Pokedex. Phalanx, formation Pokemon fighting type. Really, it's 10 feet long, oh my gosh. But that's not height, that's length. That's, that's the wrong metric. It'd be ridiculous if it was 10 feet tall. That'd be like, it's a, a size of a bus. The six of them work together as one Pokemon. Teamwork is also their battle strategy and they constantly change their formation as they fight. Okay. Now I'm imagining if they were really like the size of a bus. That would be so weird, it'd sort of be creepy. They have like spikes as eyes. I mean, I think that's supposed to be their eyes. I don't know, maybe it's like more like a helmet? Hard to really tell. Anything in there? Not quite. Well, it looks like then we are good to uh, try to move around you, I suppose. I've already caught you. It was already tough enough, so I'd rather just not deal with you right now. Yeah, Biggie keeps on like shaking every time we throw him out. I don't know why they're not doing so well. Maybe I need to play with them some more. But anyways, go ahead and grab this as the max revive, and oh man, what are we running into? Oh, it's you, have we caught you, the Drapion? I know we ran into you, but I don't remember. I think we failed with catching you. So this might be our next chance. Yeah, we do not have you, but this is not very effective. So let's switch to something else. We don't have anything super effective, but we have things that are normally effective. So I don't know who to go for. Let's just just, just do Shawnee for right now. She's powerful, she's at full health. Maybe we can make something work here. Then what might you be? Like a bug poison? Poison steel? Just trying to think of the options. Uh, for right now, let's definitely try to lower your health with a steel wing. They're gonna use toxic, because they're definitely poison to some effect, but poison does not affect us, which is excellent. Um, I didn't read that, but is it, can we not do this? No, we can, we just must have missed it or something. Anyways, they're gonna try using poison moves against us, which does nothing to us. They'll do night slash, and that'll do a little bit of something, but not by much. Okay, we might be able to land one more of those. I guess we'll risk it. Maybe do something weaker like Pluck. Pin Missile. Does not do much at all, but they are doing it quite a few times. Not very effective. Two times, not a problem. Okay, you're very, very low now. This is our chance to throw out an Ultra Ball or whatever we wanna do when we look at the options. Ooh, Nest Ball. Net Ball, this is the one for bug types. You're a tough one, so it might be worth it. I like all the specialty Pokeballs. I, I I would like to, I wanna use them, oh my gosh, well that was a waste. I wanna use them more often, but I, I know that we don't have many of each, so I don't wanna waste them. We'll just use a normal one then. Cause you're so low on health, it just feels like it'd be a waste. But you just pop out like it's nothing. Like it is nothing. So, just do it again. We gotta wear them down eventually, right? There's plenty more Pokeballs where that came from, I'm telling you that much. Come on! Yes, there it is, Drapion was caught. Very happy about that one. Level 45 for Dot. She's kicking butt. And we added another Pokemon to our Pokedex. Quite a few of them, I didn't mean to do that. Oh darn, I can't go back, I don't think. Oh well, we'll check it out later. For right now, Drapion got sent to the box. We got two of you to try to get through. I've already caught one of you, so I just want to sort of get away from Girder. We're sort of sandwiched between the two of them. So it was sort of inevitable. It must be sleepy. I'm sleepy too. We should go take a nap. 
I felt so cute though. Like me and all my Pokemon all snuggled up inside the tent. I don't know, that just sounds absolutely adorable. Anyways, should we heal these guys? We should at least put Jazzy on front. I thought that'd be better for nuzzling. And then we'll heal Jazzy maybe. There we go. I might as well do the same thing to Dot. Okay, most people are doing a little bit better now. We have two paths to go this time. Oh, there's a trainer right over this way. Might as well go ahead and deal with you now. You can compare life to a journey, but the end of your life isn't the same as a journey's goal. You know, that's true. I've never thought about it that way. Backpacker Barbara, she's so happy. Dreepy, I thought I said derpy. <laughs> Dreepy, <laughs> you're so cute. Okay, well. I don't know what to do against you. So we'll try Spark. Whoa, one hit takedown, not very effective, but it was very effective. <laughs> Weird. I don't mind. That's gonna be a level up for Smokey, almost a level up for Shoney and Tom as well. Okay, Vullaby, you know what? We know what to do with this guy. Just go ahead and use Jazzy again, and we'll use Spark again. Should knock you out in close to one hit, if not one hit. Yeah, we'll just do Spark. Yep. One hit takedown. And a level up for Shawnee and Tom, 44 and 42. Backpacker, backpacker Barbara's been taking down. Even if you fail, it's not the end. You can stand up and fight back. I agree. Okay. I've met battle my, many gym challengers. I hope everyone reaches their goals. You're so sweet. And it looks like this was the dead end, which is a good thing. We can get this item, which is a big nugget, a big nugget of pure gold that gives off a lustrous gleam. It can be sold at a high price to shops. So that is very nice. And yeah, we can uh, run into you accidentally. Well, after we leave you, we can go back onto the path we were on before, which is the only path left to go. So we've found everything successfully so far. Uh, yeah, I don't have any moves, so I, I think we should just run. Just get out of here. And if I could avoid you, that'd be great. And you, just try to dodge him a little bit. Another trainer battle? Okay, that's fine. My live concert is open to all, and you'll be attending. Whether we like it or not, huh? This is Musician Charles. <laughs> he has a silly expression going on. Toga Demaru. Oh, you are so adorable, I love you. All right, well, you might be an electric type, judging by your wiggly tail. And, you know, your general yellowness, but Maybe we can just use Crunch. Yeah, it's fine. It almost took you out. Iron Barbs, oh, but that hurts us. Oh, because you're like a little porcupine. Ah, oh, you're so cute. I love you. Okay, well one more Crunch should do it. Sorry, Jazzy, this must hurt if you're chewing on something so spiky, but we gotta do it. Okay, so Togi tomorrow faints. And that's gonna be a level up for Jazzy, level 46. He's leading the pack with levels. Hmm, guess the rhythm between me and my partners was off. You only had one, so what do you mean partners? I don't know. One day I really wanna jam with peers. Who's peers? I don't know, I guess we'll find out, hopefully. Anyways, let's go down this way. Oh gosh, oh gosh, watch out for the phalanx. I do see this right here, King's Rock, an item to be held by a Pokemon. When the holder successfully inflicts damage, the target may also flinch. That sounds pretty powerful. We also get a nugget. Let's try to dodge wherever the phalanxes may come in. I don't wanna you know, run into them. They remind me of the Mario Odyssey enemies. <laughs> That's great. So we're finally out of this place. That's crazy. And it looks like there's the tunnel to the next town. What is this? It's like a moving rock. Crustle. I like Krussel, even though I'm usually not a big fan of crustaceans because they just sort of creep me out. Krussel's sort of cute. He's just under a bunch of rock. Um, We definitely want to switch though. I'm guessing to like Tom, because you're going to be like a ground type, right? So hopefully we can use um, a type advantage here. And you're going to use rock slide. But we avoided the attack. Good job, Tom. Good job. Let's do Whirlpool, I don't know how good of an idea that is, but we'll do it. I just don't know how tough of a foe you'll be. The good thing about Whirlpool at the least is that it doesn't do a ton of damage. Now they're using Stealth Rock again. 
which I don't think affects us unless we try to switch our Pokemon out. Well, you're gonna hit, get hit by the Whirlpool again, so you're already almost halfway down. So we'll just try to start catching you right now. And as the Whirlpool does more damage to you, I guess we have a higher chance of making it work. Come on. No, not happening that time. Yes, I almost had it, but I don't believe you. X Scissor. Ooh. Ooh, that was pretty painful. But you get hurt by Whirlpool again, and you are officially in the yellow. Use another Pokeball. Come on. Ah, oh, it's been tough today. They are getting tougher at fighting back. I think this really does it for normal Pokeballs though. I don't think we can use these anymore. I, just, I have so many. Let's use an Ultra Ball. I have seven left of these, so hopefully we can buy more at the, the next town. I think so, I think they're in the shop now. If not, that's concerning. Got it, okay, so we caught a Crustle. <laughs> Very interesting Pokemon, glad to have it. And, Crustle's data will be added to the Pokedex. It is four foot seven, a bug rock stone home Pokemon. Its thick claws are the greatest weapons. They're mighty enough to crack Rhyperior's carapace. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like pincers or claws or whatever. Okay, well there's that done. So down this way, I think there's a Pokeball. Yes, there is. It is TM43 Brick Break near the broken bricks. How fitting. The user attacks with a swift sh chop. It can also break barriers such as light screen and reflect. Nice. So, it looks like there's a little bit more to do at the right, so we'll battle these two. Succeeding as a businessman depends on communication. I get along perfectly with my Pokemon. I'm super cute, but I'm carrying super duper strong Pokemon. Sounds like a good combo to me. You know, why can't you be strong and cute? Colleagues, Jordan and Allison. So I guess we'll be doing double battles here. Sent out Excadrill and Hippodon. Is this our first doubles battle? I don't know. I don't think so. Can't remember. So Hippodon's interesting. We, I don't know if we've seen Excadrill or not. The Hippodon, I don't know what type of Pokemon these are. I don't know if Lightning Move against Excadrill was the best move, but for right now we'll do Toxic against Hippodon. Just try to spread our worth a little bit here. Okay, so Excadrill's actually digging. So that wouldn't have done much about against you anyways. Yeah, so Excadrill's gonna avoid that. We'll do Toxic against you. Will that have any effect? It will. So I don't think you're like a ground type or whatever. Sand Tomb, oh no, no. Oh, yikes. That was super effective too. So we're both buffeted by the sandstorm. I think we gotta get Jazzy out of here, to say the least. But there's some poison him hitting the Hippodon. And then this again. Not good. Jazzy's thinking about camping, the poor guy. I mean, if you're not a ground type, hopefully that'll do something, but I don't know if you're a ground type or not. It's a little weird. Oh, yikes, no, Jazzy! It's super effective, but he toughed it out so we won't feel sad, thank you, you're the best. Oh man, you spark, but it doesn't affect you, so you might actually be ground type, which means this won't do much either. Even then, it did a good chunk of damage. So using Sand Storm, or Sand Tomb against Smokey here. Oh, this is a mess. Oh no, there goes Jazzy, darn. Do we have to choose which Pokemon comes out next in a double battle, or will that just happen on its own? So we're getting buffeted by the Sandstorm. Maybe we should just keep Jazzy out and keep on laying down this poison. If we can do that again, the Venno Shock, we should be able to get rid of him. But also, we're really feeling the pain at this point. Okay. Um. I don't know what to do here. I guess Tom, but he's a he's a he's a water rock. Maybe Biggie. Because at least I don't think Biggie will be weak to anything here. I don't think he's gonna be particularly strong to it. But we'll just do Night Slash against the Hippodon, and then also do Veno Shock against the Hippodon. Well, actually, yeah, we also have Foul Play, depending on their damage. So maybe we'll just do that against Excadrill, because Excadrill is sort of a problem, because we might be able to take out a Hippodon in this hit, depending on who gets to attack first. Well, Excadrill gets to run away like a coward. 
great. And we can do Venom Shock again, hopefully getting rid of you. This is a tough battle so far. Just sort of tough for our Pokemon typing. But we'll keep going, we'll get him eventually. So buffeted by the Sandstorm again. Not good. Berserker, so you are, what, a Steel type? So maybe we should think about this. I guess we'll go against you. But I wanna switch Smokey out now, I think. If we could switch him to Dot, because Dot, once again, now has super effective possibilities here. Fake out, not good. Excadrill's gonna use Dig, oh no! Oh, that's the worst when that happens. Bad timing. How could I even choose Dot when Dot, I guess it would have originally been Biggie, or Smokey that he chose. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. We just can't catch a break is the problem. Well, let's just go ahead and use a move again too before you dig again. And we need to do something about you really quickly. So we'll do double kick. Every time you dig, we never have a chance to attack you. It's so weird. Like how can we actually affect you in any way? So there goes Berserker. Oh man. Super effective, hit one time. Do you have any other Pokemon? I don't know, but level 47 for Biggie. Biggie's foul play, Excursor avoided it, obviously. The Sandstorm subsided, which is at least good. And yeah, now it's only this guy and his Pokemon after this. So let's go ahead and heal you as fast as we can with a Hyper Potion before you get hit with this dig and get like hit once and get taken out. The problem is, Will that happen before the dig even gets used? I don't know. Okay, let's revive Jazzy as well, just so he can get experience from this battle. Okay, there we go. So hopefully Dot will be safe from any, from any kind of shenanigan that happens here with the digging. Cause I'm so tired of this. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, now hopefully we'll actually have a chance to attack Biggie use Night Slash, I think, or maybe Foul Play, Home Claws, we have a lot of options. We'll do Night Slash. And also just do, I don't know if Pyro Ball's a good idea, but we're just gonna try it because it's a very powerful move. And it attacks first for one, so you don't dig away every single time. That was a one hit takedown, it was super effective. Thank you. I don't know what typing, maybe it was Steel? Maybe it was like Ground Steel, that was the problem? Okay, so, whoa, Lucario. Whoa, haven't seen you in this game. Very cool. Let's do let's do Night Slash again. Or Foul Play, uh, I don't know, just Foul Play. Cause that might, it depends on his damage, right? So it might do better. I will do Pyro Ball. Come on, let's see how it goes this time. Maybe another one hit takedown. Maybe it will be, oh my gosh, super effective again. What, what typing is Lucario that fires super effective against him? Anyways, Jordan and Allison are taken down. I'll sell this victory to you. I'm short on pocket change. Your Pokemon are strong and cute. Indeed they are. They're the strongest and the cutest. Never forget that. Let me check my schedule. There's nothing to be gained by fretting over a loss. Not enough time in the day. I'm strong and cute, so Pokemon that are strong and cute suit me. Me too. Oh, there's one last ca camping area here. Uh, I'll teach you a camping secret. Uh, press your control stick down and squat down, making you feel closer to the really small Pokemon. If you'd like, I could show you how. Maybe you could pop by my camp. I would love to. So this is Lisa's Pokemon camp. Okay. Oh man, you have Eevees. You have like all of them. You have a... Uh, uh, I forgot what the actual one's called. Let's talk to you, or not. Uh, can I? Good afternoon, to put it simply, Eevee is, or Vivi is, it's a lord to sounds. So there's a Porion, Flareon, Electricion, I forget your name, I'm sorry. Um, and some of the other ones I definitely don't know the names of. That's so cool, you have all of them. Oh, and there's a dancer over here, hello. Good afternoon, your Jazzy is elegant. <laughs> Thank you, I agree. Uh, and there's another person way down there I can't seem to talk to. Bolt seems a bit nervous. Excited about this new place, go play. All right, 
So cute. They're all just running around. Oh, I love it. This is worth all that toughness we had to battle through. Okay, well, everybody, do you wanna play? Come here, Jazzy. Well, let's at least play with you. You're sort of the odd one out here. But you know what, that's great. That's, I feel like that suits you, right? Let's just play a little bit. We'll throw you the ball. Go get it. Good job. Nobody else really seems interested in playing. Okay, well, let's, uh, I don't know what else we should do. We, we could cook with all these people, right? Isn't that how that works? But none of our other Pokemon are out, it's just Jazzy. So I don't wanna leave, instead let's get to cooking. Yep. Okay, so let's get a Greppa Berry, sure why not two of those. Two Pashos, a Hondu, Tomato, Greppa, a Pomeg. Let's just definitely stack all this up. And let's see how this goes. That's not what I put in. Oh, that's what other people put in. Look at this, it's like a giant pot full of everybody's stuff. <laughs> I clearly put in the most, but no matter what that's gonna stack up, somebody else put in like a, a cup of ramen. Okay, well it's gonna be very noodly. Fan the flames, I'm like how doing everybody. I'm the flame master. If you're not careful, the flames will control you, but I control the flames. I think it's burning. Uh, should I stop? I can't stop, somebody stop me. <laughs> I love this. Cause it's just the idea that we're swinging and like stirring so fast, we're probably spilling it all over the place, knocking into them. We're so competitive and it's just cooking curry. Just calm down for a moment. Okay, it's all stirred up. Let's throw our heart into it, there we go. You were really late over there, but that's okay. Better late than never. And let's see how it goes. Done. Okay, so everybody is super duper happy about it. All of the different evolutions. Dry instant noodle curry, very cool. I like it. Oh, and how good is it? It's delicious! Wow, we are super excited about it. We're gonna burn our mouths, be careful. Whoa, the dry instant noodle curry Charizard class. That is the highest we've gotten before. Wow, we, I like it. Okay, well with the camping done, I think we can head out of here. It was very fun hanging out with all these evolutions. Let's leave the tent. And I guess wrap it up with that. Your Pokemon enjoyed camping and gained some experience points. Smokey got the level 43. Yeah, it wasn't too much. But Smokey wants to learn to move Belch. Of course, it's a very Smokey-like move. The user lets out a damaging Belch at the target. The user must eat a whole berry to use this move. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that one then. Uh, I don't really use the berries too much for that reason. So I think I'm gonna hold off on that. Don't think it would be worth it compared to any of these. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess we could put over acid spray. Oh, no, 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 you know, I just backed out, okay. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, what's over here? Wait a minute, hold on, I was gonna finish the episode. It is a Pokeball with terrain extender, an item to be held by a Pokemon, it extends the duration of the terrain caused by the holder's move or ability. Very interesting, so that could work with those TMs we saw earlier. But anyways, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before you go, be sure to comment Camping Zebra, so you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebratastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.